Nearly a decade ago, Genetic Hair co-founder Eric Snyder was in the academia world in Arizona when he met co-founder Ryan Spritzler. The pair realized that genetic ancestry and individual response to medication were inextricably linked. We decided, you know, hey, we could select genotypes that might help predict how people respond to hypertension, put them in the same nice box, and then this, bring them to the doctor and then help with the decision tree. We still have the napkins from our original kind of planning session. So. Eric soon realized they needed to shore up the business side of genetic care and tapped his brother Scott. It took a lot of whiteboarding for me to understand the science. But once it clicked, I did realize that, hey, this is going to be the future. Either we're going to do it or somebody else's. What sets genetic care apart and why focus on hypertension? We looked at a bunch of different disease states and high blood pressure rose to the top because it's a mammoth market. It's really poorly controlled today. The fewer pills you can give an individual, the better. And right now, the standard of care essentially for hypertension is to try one drug and then to add another drug and then to add another drug. In the future, this is the way diseases will be treated. They continued clinical trials, gathering evidence and regulatory work, and in January 2017, moved into the Mayo Clinic Business Accelerator, managed by Ready. The Mayo Clinic Business Accelerator provided a lot of support for us to raise outside financing. We had access to a lot of great talent here in Rochester, and then obviously just the physical resources of being able to have an office in the early days. Less than a year later, Genetic Care graduated from the Accelerator and currently operates with approximately 10 employees with no signs of slowing down. So we just got our first patent awarded two weeks ago. We're really excited because now we know we can protect these ideas. It's really exciting because we actually get to see this impact lives now and get these case studies of people that have struggled with the disease and now are finding a solution. When asked about setting out on an entrepreneurial journey with his brother, both Scott and Eric have a sense of humor with a healthy dose of mutual respect. The list is so long. <laughs> How do I narrow it down? Uh, I don't know, his siblings are great. Uh, now, Eric, he, he brings a completely different set of skills than I do, which is, I think, why we work well together. Well, he has a tremendous sense of fashion. That would be number one. And I used to be a pretty good soccer player. So, no, but uh, from the genetic ear side, I'm always thankful to have him on calls. Um, you know, with the business knowledge. We've moved on from angel investors into VC types, and um, they tend to get pretty hardcore on the, the questions on investing. I've been as lost at times with his answers to those as he probably has been at times with the scientific discussions we've had on the science team.